No, Jackie, stop. <laughs> April is not investing $100 on an essence, period. Jackie, you ain't acting like an African sister. Physical is for the 2000s. We in 2020 now, okay? <laughs> messy is for toddlers, you know, we grown. We grown on this channel. We don't do messy, okay? <laughs> Snatch. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Oh, this piece of hair keeps fucking bothering me. <sighs> okay. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a cosmetic and skincare chemist. I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. Hey. Okay, <laughs> let me stop. As you guys can tell from the title, today's video reaction is of Chucky 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 Today's video is about Jackie Anna's reaction video. This video was filmed two years ago. <laughs> oh, we gonna talk about it, okay? Cause she a sister. Y'all wanna see what I think about Jackie's skincare routine? All right, let's get into it. Jackie, 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 So today has been a full day of makeup and I gotta do the works to really make sure I get my skin really clean. I love the energy. Sis, you better not disappoint me. I have hopes in you. You better show them how it's done, okay? I'm rooting for you, Jackie. I hope the girls are ready because the skincare routine is really thorough, okay? Because good skin is good health, ladies and gentlemen. The first thing we gotta do is get the wig out of the way because she is a wig veteran. Thank you very much. Let's take the robe and get her out the way too. I love how she's like so herself. I know that this type of videos can make you feel a little bit, at least for me, feel a little bit shy and you know, overwhelmed with all the cameras and stuff. So I love how she's so vibrant in herself. That's really cool to see. So let's keep watching. I never skip steps and I don't sleep in makeup. Those of you guys that are sleeping in makeup, I'm calling your grandmothers and I'm snitching on all of you. <laughs> Stop doing that. So the first thing I like to do, I wear falsies. If you're ripping off your lashes and going on about your business, I'm totally judging you and you're probably bald headed. So stop doing that as well. I can't. <laughs> she ain't lying though. If you're ripping out your lashes, sis, should I even tell you that the skin on your eyelid is the most delicate skin? Huh? You should not be ripping out your false lashes. If you're gonna wear false lashes and take the time to perfectly place that band on your eyelash, you better take the time to take it off too, okay? Sis ain't lying. A safe way to remove my falsies without ripping off my lashes. I'm a, I'm a little bit of a lash snob, I do have to admit. I take some cleansing water. I take a Q-tip soak with cleansing water and I just rub it right at the lash lines so oh. I'm up my glue. That way you don't have to rip them off. However long it takes to get me to just like unwind and do it the right way so it's not sloppy and halfway done, I do it. Oh my God, that's such a good tip. Oh my God, I love that. I was recently on a shoot and the uh, makeup artist put like individual lashes on me. I got home and I couldn't take it off and I had to get in the shower and use like a cleansing balm and oh my God, where have I been? This is such a great tip, I, I love that. That's such a gentle way to take off your lashes where you're not pulling and tugging the skin and it's still getting the job done. I love it, thanks Aunt Jackie. So after you've done this, your lash should pretty much come off pretty easily. If it's still resistant, it's not enough water. Next step is pre-cleanse. I'm a huge fan of pre-cleansing. Basically what that means is instead of going in with a face wash, you like prep your skin for the face wash first, okay? So, oh, Jackie, it's called double cleansing, okay? You're not using the right terms here, okay? We graduated, honey. It's called double cleansing, not pre-cleansing, but I, I feel you, girl. I know what you're talking about. So you can use like a cleansing balm, you can use a makeup wipe. I actually have been using a cleansing oil. Oil for oil is actually really good. It's not pore clogging at all. The one that I'm using is from Clinique. I have a few that I kind of rotate between, but I really like this one. And basically what it's doing is it's breaking up all the makeup, because guess what? Face wash does not get paid overtime, so you can't just rely on the face wash alone, okay? You gotta prep your skin. I've never used an oil before, but I've heard from friends that have used oil that using cleansing oils can be really, really, really messy. I don't I do not do messy. Messy is for toddlers, you know? We grown, we grown on this channel, we don't do messy, okay? So I do cleansing balms. It's a little bit easier for me to navigate through. When I'm tired after working, the last thing I wanna deal with this oil spilling all over the place, but hey, on jockey knows best. Also, don't skip the hairline. 
This is where a lot of people get pimples, unexpected because they didn't thoroughly clean around their face. This rinses right off, so we're just gonna go straight into the sink and rinse. I like a gel-based face wash because, again, acne-prone, oily skin, it's very gentle. I love this one from Dermalogica. That gets a nice lather and it's gentle on the skin. It doesn't make me break out. And again, really make sure you get around that hairline, your nose, your eyes. And then I would give you a little cute transition to the next step, but I can't open my eyes. So we're just gonna rinse it off. Dermalogica, I have not used or heard of this face wash before, but Dermalogica ain't cheap, so <laughs> she's right. Oil to oil, get the oil up, and then use a water-based product to get the water-based products off. Jackie, I'm shook that you know your shit. Yes, queen, yes. You wanna see something? Look at that, look at that. Face cloth just snitched on you. Look at all the extra makeup that's still there. So we're gonna go back to the cleansing water from Simple. Find any extra traces. Usually it's like around the hairline. I don't usually go through like two or three of these, depending on how rough the day was, you feel me? Okay, she's using the cleansing water to do this. You can also use a toner to take off whatever makeup is left from whenever you've washed your face and you feel like you might still have some residue left. You can also use a toner for this. I try to get off all the makeup every single trace of it. And you just wanna do this like until the cotton pad is white. So you see that all the makeup is gone. Oh, Jackie, I hope those cotton pads are environmental friendly cotton pads. I hope they're reusable ones because we're not about messing up the environment, Jackie. I saw her toss it. <laughs> I saw her do a little action. You better be going into the dirty cloth ramp. I'm doing an experiment this month where I don't use like actual physical scrubs. I'm using chemical scrubs this month. One that I really like is another one from Dermalogica, the Daily Microfoliant. My theory with physical scrubs is I feel like a lot of them are a little too harsh for darker skin and I get hyperpigmentation and scarring and I don't want to do anything too, too harsh to my skin. So I feel like if we're going to banish the scars at a molecular level, let's fools with that. You know, like the physical scrubs, I feel like are, are just a little too harsh. We don't do physical scrubs. We don't do that. Physical is for the 2000s. We in 2020 now, okay? <laughs> you might be having a bad day and go really hot on your skin or be having a really good day and not really scrub enough. So let's just leave the scrubbing for the estheticians, okay? And use the chemical exfoliants. So we're going to tone. I love the deep hydrating rose toner from Fresh. It's it's so good, it smells good, it's so hydrating, and it's amazing. We gotta put all that moisture back in the skin. Now this toner, I know. I know this toner is a good one. I'm not sure about the price tag. I think it's a little, a little high up there, you know? <laughs> Not for budget-friendly sisters like us, but I've heard this toner is really good and rose water is just amazing for the skin, for redness, for inflammation. Snatched. Something that I've been trying and loving is the whole like, 10 step Korean skincare thing, hence why I go through a lot of steps. And one product that I've recently been implementing in my skincare routine are essences. And essences are kind of different from toners. You think they do the same thing, they kind of don't. They don't balance the pH the way that toners do. They kind of do a little bit more nourishing, hydrating. Essences, when used with other products on top, will basically enhance whatever you put over it. So because I'm bougie and because I'm extra, I'm gonna take my SK2 Essence. It's a little, little pricey size, but it's a little bit expensive. But I really like it and it's very gentle. This you can apply with your hands. You just press it into the skin with like two or three drops and it's super lightweight and hydrating. I just looked up the essence he's talking about. Sis, what? <laughs> this essence is freaking $100. It's $99, but in my African brain, that translates to $100. Jackie, you ain't acting like an African sister? How are you gonna spend $100 on an essence? I did a video, I don't know which video is gonna come up first. I talked about essences and I, I still don't get the point. I get that it's hydrating, but you can get that with a moisturizer. I'm sorry, I am not spending $100 on an essence. It's just not happening in this household. It's just not. <laughs> But if Jackie loves it, then Jackie can have it. But April is not investing $100 on an essence, period. Okay, next I'm gonna apply about 50 million serums and I'm gonna do a mask just because I'm bougie. The first serum that I'm gonna use is actually for my esthetician. You guys are gonna love her if you live in LA. I would highly recommend her. Her name is Fenya and she has her own line of products 
called Guidance to Glow. They are medical grade, so you know they're gonna work. Okay, medical grade is not a real claim. It's not an actual cosmetic claim. It's just marketing, so don't be deceived. Medical grade, dermatologist tested, all of that stuff is all marketing, okay? It's all to basically see my product is superior, okay? It's not a real cosmetic claim, so yeah, no. Jackie, stop. <laughs> First thing I usually go in for is hyaluronic acid. I love hyaluronic acid. If you have oily combination skin, it's gonna be your best friend. Okay, squad goals, hyaluronic acid, get you some. So first I'm gonna take her serum, which is actually a copper complex peptide. So it almost like enhances the hyaluronic acid. It makes it like more potent. And when I tell you this stuff is a game changer, I'm dead serious. And just for ease of application, I'm just gonna do one drop two drop, three drop, maybe one more. And then I spread it out first all over my face and then I pat it in. It's interesting, copper complex peptide. I have, mm. From my knowledge, hyaluronic acid actually helps other ingredients penetrate the skin better. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to look that one up, but her skin looks amazing. I just, I'm in awe. It looks so good, so, so good. And she knows her skincare steps and I, I'm so impressed with Jackie. Go, Jackie. Push that in there, girl. Because you know, oily skin is actually starving skin, okay? So stop depriving your skin of what it is owed in life, okay? Stop skipping moisturizers, stop skipping oil, don't be afraid of oil, and definitely don't be afraid of serums. You're gonna love hyaluronic acid, it's so good. It's called the Ultimate Growth Factor Serum, and to be honest, I don't even know what the hell it does, okay? My esthetician just tells me to use it, and I do, and it's expensive, but I don't care. So I get compliments on my skin, so it's obviously doing something. And make it fun, and make it therapeutic, you know? Like, this skincare is like self-care. Enjoy it and spread and then pat. You do not need this good factor serum. This is, <laughs> no, no, no comment. So this can be a little scary. I would not advise you to do activities such as checking the mail. So I'm just gonna put this bad boy on as it slides around into my mouth. Just, just little minerals. So you just keep this on. It says five to 30 minutes, which is like a really wide time frame. Just depends on how much time you got and they just feel really nice, especially in the summer when it's hot. Ooh, pro tip, put them in the fridge, dog. They feel so good, and I feel like they work a little bit better, even though they kind of don't. So you just put this on, wait five minutes, check it, check it, check it. Mask, this is the one skincare thing I don't really do. I do it on the weekends here and there, but it's supposed to help with hydration and really just hydration and really plumping the hydration, but I feel like it's all very fleeting keeps you hydrated for that moment, but I feel like it's not, it doesn't keep you hydrated for like a long term, like, you know, actually using a really good moisturizer will or using a really good serum or toner will. So uh, masks, honestly, I feel like it's a skincare luxury. I think Jackie, honestly, at this point, is just having a blast <laughs> being on camera. <laughs> but I do love a mask. I love a really good mask. This makes it work more. Jackie, 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 Jackie. Wait a minute, hold up, speaking of money's worth, I'm gonna go in the package. Get all this extra serum out. This is a serum, you guys. Get your money's worth, okay? Yes, Neutrogena, come through. And you're good to go. Just go ahead and, and take it off. The sheet masks are not rinsed off it's serum. So you wanna pat all that extra residue, if you will, into your skin. And you can even sometimes rub the extra on your hands, nice soft hands. Cause look, let me tell you something my mom taught me. You can always clock a woman's age by looking at her hands and her neck. So make sure you get that extra. I feel great, but I'm kind of like a nine out of 10 and we're trying to get to a 12. So let's move on to eye cream. Okay, I'm gonna skip over the eye creams. I don't care for eye creams. I just don't, so move on. I'm done now. I'm just gonna add my moisturizer. That's the last thing you gotta do. No more ashiness in 2018, I'm judging you. You can use any moisturizer that you like, but this one is actually a newer one I'm trying, also from Fresh. What I do for my last step actually varies on like 
where I'm going, what I'm doing. I love this stuff, it's lightweight. So I looked up the moisturizer and honestly, I wasn't too impressed. I mean, it is a water-based moisturizer, but for that price point, I feel like she could get a lot better from K-Beauty, but it looks like she likes our high-end products, so <laughs> she's the anti Jackie after all, so what can we say? If I had to recommend, I recommend the one from Pharmacy Beauty. I'll pop the one I'm talking about up here. I really like that one, I enjoyed it for my oily skin, and it left my skin feeling super moisturized. To be honest, like this last step, I kind of rotate, depending on just like what day it is or I don't know what stage of life I'm in. I'm done, that's it. Thanks for hanging out and I hope to see you soon. Bye. I'm actually really impressed with their skincare routine. I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know. I just, you know, Jackie is so extra and I guess I was expecting that she would know the bare minimum, but I was proven wrong for sure. I think she knows her shit. I mean, she has an esthetician, so I'm pretty sure she gets schooled every time she goes to her esthetician. Yeah, I was really, really impressed with Jackie. She's on the right way to becoming a skincare goddess, not only a makeup goddess, a skincare goddess as well. Damn, we're about to have more competition on this platform. No, I'm just in skin Disney competition. Competition. I want more black girls to embrace skincare and embrace self-care and self-love. Skincare really is a ritual, so always remember that when you're doing your skincare routine, don't ever feel like it's a punishment. Always know that you're doing this for your 50-year-old self. It's the one personal investment that you're never going to regret ever, 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 ever. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do you guys have any similarities to her skincare routine? Do you have any criticisms about her skincare routine? I thought it was really, really good. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to this channel so we can continue to grow. I'm so happy with how far we've come. I love you guys so much. Can't wait to continue to grow with you guys and continue to spread this skincare message to more and more people. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate your time. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.